Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the LDM show. We're here live again, and uh, shout out to Kat for doing the uh, fashion thing, but I'm not spending $900 on no sneakers, so <laughs> check her out. She's going to be on Fashion Week. Check out her page so she, you see like what she's doing behind scenes and stuff like that on the uh, Fashion Week. Uh, it's always a Fashion Week something, Bronx Fashion Week, uh, the, ghetto, the Ghetto Fashion Week. When, when is the Ghetto? We got to do like a Ghetto Fashion Week. Shanae and all of them be out there. So, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who wears their pants low? The best? No, nah, I'm just joking. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we, we uh, have a guest here. I thought it was, you were going to be with someone else. I, I, I assume, right? Like, I seen one of your posts, and I thought somebody else was going to come. But anyway, say your name. Let you know people know your name here. Yeah. You know? Oh, hi. I'm Nina Brooks. My partner, uh, Chris <laughs> Kelly, was supposed to come with me. Yeah, yeah, I know. I seen a post, and I was like, okay, there's my two guys. My partner, my business partner, my boo, my man. Yeah. My yeah. yeah. But he's working, so unfortunately. Oh, okay. Just make sure you speak. Somebody has to make money. Just make sure you speak in the, uh, <laughs> speak in the mic, so we want to make sure everybody gets Definitely. every. Somebody has to make money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, she's your producer, uh, I guess director, and all this other stuff that, um, you know, for a, a woman. First of all, a woman producer. Yes. Wow. That's good. I, I'm like, I'm loving my show because I'm getting these <laughs> women that are coming out everywhere. You know, we, women chefs, everything that coming out where you don't think a woman would be, they there. Um, so first of all, how is it to be a female producer? Um. I don't know. I'm a female, so. I, I, well, it's I, it's I still say, dominated, I guess, by males. I, I'm, it, well, you know, and it's not any different from what I do in my waking life. I'm an IT professional. Oh, okay. Right, and so I, I work uh, very closely with my male counterparts, and um, I'm often the only woman. I'm often always the only minority woman everywhere Ooh. that I go because I work in a very heavily white male dominant, saturated right. industry. And so information technology is heavily dominated by white men, and so I'm kind of used to that. I've been doing um, managing projects in, in information technology for about 15 years, and so uh, producing is sort of like that. It's just a different animal that you're managing altogether, ah. right? It's a different mm -hmm. industry. It's a, it's a different product. It's, it's a different animal, but uh, my approach was the same. So I would say that... Um, it's not that much different. different. It, it came very natural to me, to be honest. So um, mm. I didn't, uh, I, I don't think I've, at any point I felt that I was intimidated by the role at all. Um, I actually wanted to spearhead the project um, mm. because I actually created um, the, the show based off of a book that I wrote about my life a couple of years ago. It's a novella called because Soap opera, in case you guys don't know. <laughs> uh, not really. She said novela. I was like, people were like, what? What? They just lost me there. No. <laughs> it's more, it's more uh, drama. It's, this is us meets power. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's drama. It's a drama. Yeah, it's drama, it's crime, it's romance. But, um, yeah, so I wrote the book based on my life a couple of years ago. And mm. because it was my baby, I kind of wanted to... To make sure. Yeah, to... Um, take the reins and, and spearhead the project. So it came okay. Uh, well, since we're speaking about it, we, we're speaking about one of her uh, movies that she made, or you know, when you when you're talking about in, indie films mm -hmm. and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you don't think of too much of drama or you know stuff like you always hear about action, shooting, I was a drug dealer, I wanted to come out of the drug dealing <laughs> thing, bam, 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 woof, I'm out. There you go. That's like half of the indie shows. Right. <laughs> but you never really hear about the love and the drama. Like, even the, the cover itself, you know, you have the guy and the girl. I was like, wow, this is a nice, like... Right. So the characters yeah. that you see on the poster, those are the main characters. The starring roles are uh, Christina Cooper and Isaiah Jarrell. They're mm. both out of Los Angeles. Um, and they're wow. amazing young people, amazing actors. They brought uh, an amazing spirit with them and talent with them. They were very easy to work with, and um, the whole project was a collaborative effort, and I'm very grateful for both of them. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I like, uh, because the covers always pretty much tell the story. Yeah. So I, I was like, I seen this cover, I was like, mm, this must be a drama movie or uh, something, you know, where, right. you know, love story or something. It, it, is, um, it is a love story, but it's also a story about hustle. 
mm -hmm. it's about you know doing what you have to do to survive, survive. To take care of your family, to take care of yourself. But this is more, uh, like you said, more of a family type uh, survival. It's not an individual person that's trying to survive. Um, it's a, it's, it is a family survival. Uh, so Nina is trying to, you know, do what she has to do to take care of her daughter. Right. Um, because she gets pregnant very early in life, 17 years old. Wow. Her mother dies from lung cancer. Actually, 16 years old, she gets pregnant. Her mother dies from lung cancer. Um, mm. And so she obtains a fake ID. Well, don't, don't give it all away now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm not giving away anything. All right. Sorry, spoiler alert here. I was going to give you the whole two hour show, you know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, but she does. She gets. She obtains a fake ID so she can work on one of Pittsburgh's hottest nightclubs so that she can do what she has to do to take care of her daughter. I like that. Right. And then Chris, you know, he's a native New Yorker and he's attending the University of Pittsburgh and he's doing what he has to do to put himself through college. And he opens up a hot dog, one of the only hot dog stands mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh so that he can fund his way through college. And they meet, but they never quite come together. And so mm. later on in life, a uh, simple Facebook message that's connects the two and a little serendipity thing yeah, huh? <laughs> definitely and so that's you know that's the story of the lover's life and you know we're, we're very proud of it and everybody worked really hard on the project and um it definitely wasn't easy so. very well it came out um and it's coming out when so we don't have a launch date for it yet um but if you are in the los angeles area and you would like to see the lover's life please by the Pan-African Film Festival. Mm -hmm. We will be world premiering there February 15th, 16th, and 17th. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the area, please stop by and check us out. We would greatly appreciate it. Wow, it's a, it's a, it's a good thing, especially to be in a film festival. Yeah. It's like one of the top things for uh, indie uh, film to be at in a film festival. Definitely, so. especially the Pan-African Film Festival, yeah. which is one of the largest platforms for African mm -hmm. filmmakers worldwide. So it's, it's not just, you know, local to Los Angeles or, right, or right. you know, or just to the state of California or to the United States. It's definitely a, a worldwide um, platform for, mm. for filmmakers. So we're really oh. excited. And Congratulations excited. for that. That's Thank like, you. that's just like the beginning of a, yeah, of a whole uh, franchise thing. Because, oh, it's an you honor. Know? Yeah, we're really grateful. So that's, you know, so that's why we haven't, we don't have a launch date really for the show yet. Oh, um, okay. You know, uh, we're hoping, you know, maybe maybe someone will pick up the show and network will pick us up or you know mm -hmm. um maybe we, we can acquire yeah hello but, yeah hello well hello. i was just gonna say <laughs> hello netflix because next netflix is now yeah. uh putting in indie uh movies and stuff like that yeah. so they they are really doing their thing for netflix hello, so. Sony, hello viacom hello everyone that's listening yeah right uh, <laughs> in, in all networks yeah yeah um well, right, exactly. well, in the network, we have Paramount that watches and Netflix um, oh, that's because that's of, that's we have a show that does reviews of sure. their movies. Sure. So, um, you know, and that, that'll probably be a good thing, too. Uh, you know, we can talk to him. You can show a little clip of it on his show, and he reviews it, you Definitely. know. So he's, he's one of our uh, movie-type experts that on the awesome. network. Yeah. Um, so check it out. Will's review every Sunday at 6 p.m. Um, before you go spend that money. Check out his show. Uh, he'll let you know which ones are good or not. Um, so, and video games. He reviews everything. Yeah. So, but um, now, like you said, it's part of your um, part of your life. But what made you want to do it on the screen? It was by accident. Yeah. Yes. To be honest, um, I was encouraged to write the book. First of all, mm -hmm. um, Chris Perry, my life partner, love of my life. He actually encouraged me to write. And I'd never written before. It's my first book. Mm. And he encouraged me to write the book. And But while I was writing the book, I actually spoke it into existence. I, I manifested it. Mm. I said it out loud. We should turn this into a television series. Let me see something. <clears throat> all right. Turn to make sure it's all the way up. Okay. <laughs> I actually suggested that we turn it into to a television series at the time. And he suggested that we turn it into a movie. And ah. so, yes. And so... Fast forward a couple of years later, um, he mentioned to his boy Jalon, Chris came up with the idea that we should, you know, film a movie, and he reached out to Jalon Wright, who's one of the producers on the show in Los Angeles, 
he asked to read my book. I sent him the first two chapters of the book, and just like that, he got back to us like within an hour and said we should turn it into a TV series. And so, Ooh. yeah, the rest is kind of history. He introduced us to uh, Cambricia Montgomery, who's our screenplay writer. Right, right. And then uh, Chris got on the phone and started making some phone calls to our uh, Emmy Award-winning director, Renee Ooh. Alaquiva, who agreed to you know work on the passion project with us. And so we just started from there, bare bones, honestly. Um, from the ground up and formulated a team. So grateful to everyone because I have an amazing team, people around me, above me, behind me, you know, that have encouraged me, supported me, and mentored me and kind of guided me along the way in, wow. in this industry and, and helped me to become the, the producer that, that I am and want to become as well. That's great, great, yeah. Um, now, you said a uh, series is how many episodes would they be if it's going to be a series? Or, if it's or, or, you, plan, or are you planning it oh, later definitely. on? Oh, no, definitely. Um, I, I'm actually slated for the next five seasons. I have uh, a whole story Bible complete Ooh. and written up for the next five seasons for The Lover's Life. There are eight shows. Per uh, season? Per season. There are eight episodes per and season. And how long? Um, 30 minutes 30 an hour? Minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely something that uh, you guys got to watch. Um, well, I know if next uh, pick it up, it's definitely going to be a great thing to watch. Yeah. But um, you said you've written it in a book. Are, do you selling the book? So for marketing purposes, I have not oh. published the book yet. I, you know, I kind of, I want, I want Chris and Nina to be household names. Um, right, I, right. I want to brand the lover's life. And I want to create a series of books to follow the television series as well. Yeah, because sometimes a book tells more than the series. Exactly. So. Well, the book definitely does. <laughs> oh, honestly. you see? You see? Because some, they, some things get cut when they go to the movies. Yeah, so. man. Yeah. Honestly. Um, yeah. So that's why a lot of people love to read the book. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think that's probably be cool if you have a, a book out. So. Yeah. So I'm, I'm holding on to it. I feel like I won't have to look for publishers. Mm -hmm. um, if the show gets picked up, publishers will actually look for me. For oh, you. Right. right? And, and so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of holding it a little close to me right now. Um, I actually started writing the second book um, as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and, yeah. I have, I'm scripted also for the next few episodes as well. I've written those as well. So, wow. yeah, we're, pre we're prepared. We're ready for whatever. Oh, so, my God. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> she, she, she's going to be so – you guys are listening. And I know there's a lot of uh, – producers that do web series already that watch my show um um and shout outs to uh now that i say web series decision web series i might be on uh an actor on their web series nice. so Congrats. um I, i'm talking to uh what's his name um black uh what's his name black right black and um oh god we got the other guy's name the other producer uh, the main one is black uh he hit me up black elvis yeah oh. Okay. Um, for the life of me, I don't remember that. I'm sorry, I don't remember your your other name, but since <laughs> I always deal with Black Elvis a lot um, and stuff like that, but Decision uh, is just that. It's a web series about making decisions, oh. but it's more of the uh, hip hop era, you know, with the, shoot down, with the shooting down, boom, 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 yeah, and all this other yeah. stuff, um, drugs and not rock and roll, but drugs, hip hop, <laughs> you know, and stuff. But uh, this will be the first time I'm actually probably going to be doing, uh, he said, maybe a, a cameo? no, no, I'm actually probably going to be a bad guy. Um, um, and so you have an actual speaking role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, besides of your deliveries here. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's my motivation when I'm delivering the pizza? Um, <laughs> no, but um, yeah, hopefully everything works out and I'm on it, but even if it's just a passing role of me going waving to the camera, um, it's just a cool thing to be on a, a one of his web series, especially. He's on his second, uh, second season. Mm -hmm. So web series like this, you guys can pick up um, uh, her as well and keep it going because don't mean you have to stay stuck to one web series, you know? You can That's pop up to awesome. other ones. Congratulations to you, though. Well, you know. It's something that we do cameos here. We do uh, little skits here. So mm -hmm. acting is like something I can do. Uh, and then plus, when I'm on the stage, I don't got time to be reading imprompts and, and things like that. I just got to go. Right. Like, you know, 
the, the little paper people be writing, I'll be like, uh, I want to thank everyone. I can't do that. The remedial. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, 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 no. Just tell me my motivation in my lines. That's I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so, you know, but um, when you cast your, uh, your whole crew, mm -hmm. what do you look for when you're casting uh, a person? It just depends on the character. I look for certain nuances uh, about the character. I look for the spirit of the character. Um, in character development, you know, there's a whole psychological background to characters when you're writing a script. And so you really have to get into the background of the person. You have to get into the psychology of the person and, you know, the person's uh, integrity. Everything about the person, the person's background, where were they, where they were born, who their parents are, you know, what type of personality that they have. And so when you are casting, you are looking to capture those elements of that person, right? So that's what I look for whenever I'm casting. And so i um, grateful to your mom's house. They had it casting in Pittsburgh. They held a casting call in Pittsburgh. And um, uh, Caitlin Walker, she is the assistant director and also the casting director for your mom's house. And she uh, spearheaded casting in Pittsburgh. And when they finished their selections, they sent all the selections over to Chris and I, and we sat down and went through each one of them um, and you know made our decisions from there. When we were finished uh, with our final selections, we did not have all of the characters that we were looking for out of mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. So we knew that we were going to have to you know look to our colleagues in Los Angeles to fulfill those roles uh -huh. that still weren't filled yet. And those roles included um, myself, the, the leading character for Nina, and the leading mm -hmm. character for Chris. Um, so, you know, we looked to Los Angeles to fill those roles and also uh, the character from, for uh, um, Alicia, um, who is my sister on, on the show, we needed to fill that role as well. And so mm. those roles came out of Los Angeles. Um, also, the role that was played uh, for Nina's mother is played by Cindy Fernandez Nixon. She is a Pittsburgh native, but oh, she wow. currently lives in Los Angeles. So... Um, yeah, so so we, you, you filmed everything in Los Angeles? We filmed everything in Pittsburgh, but we, ha we pulled half of our crew, half, yeah, half of our crew, half of our uh, cast members out of Los Angeles. Well, there's a lot of actors over there. So, oh, yeah, definitely. You know. And the diversity is there, right? Yeah, yeah. So Pittsburgh doesn't really have the diversity that we were looking for, um, so it's kind of hard to find. Fine. Right. Yeah. And, you know, there's certain... And it, it's strange the way you find the casting, because I, I spoke to other people, and they was like, yeah, we do a character, and then... We uh, put the person to do that character and, and let them live that character. And I'm like, but it, it'll be kind of hard, you know, like if they don't know how to be uh, a good guy or um, a homosexual or something like that, and you just throw them in there. It's like, yeah. but if you're looking for the person that you know will fit that part, I think will be wind up a little better. I mean, you don't really know if the person will fit that part, but you, you, you kind of intuitively have to know if that person actually can capture those nuances and those right, elements right. that you're looking for, you know, do they capture what you're, what you're looking for? And it's a difficult process. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, in selecting a cast member that's going to play yourself, it's highly personal, right? Mm. It's a highly personal thing. So you, you don't just say, oh, she's pretty, she can play me, or, oh, he's handsome, he can play Chris, and, you know. Do they have to shadow you? Um, so if, if I'm going to play you, I'm going to be... I'm going to be following Chris all over the place. He's going to be in the bathroom. I'm, I'm right there. We're like, what you doing in here? Definitely. I, I want to know who you are. Definitely. So. <laughs> Definitely. Um, you know? We spent one-on-one -on -one time with, 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 the, the, yeah, with the main okay. cast members so that they could get to know who we were. But as a producer, um, I thought that it would be important for me to spend quality time with each cast member. And oh, I made it my okay. business to spend 30 minutes on the phone with each cast member when they were selected to mm. build that rapport with them, establish a relationship with them, fill them out, let them ask me any questions that they wanted to, you know, and I took time out of my day and they took time out of their day so that we can get to know one another before we even began filming, so. Wow, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a good thing when you have like cast that you can do that because there's some movies that I'd be like, oh my God, I hate this person. <laughs> Ooh. And if I know, if I'm looking at a video and I hate you, yeah. then you're doing a good job because that's what you're supposed to be doing. Right. You know, you're supposed to be making the person exactly. hate you or, mm -hmm. you know, oh, man, didn't they kill him yet? Kill this right. guy. He needs or to be, them. you know what I'm saying? Or, or you love them. them. Or love them. You know, or, 
you know, you really want to fall in love with certain characters, and, and, and that's what we're trying to do. We, you know, we really, right. we really want the world to fall in love with Chris and Nina. We, we want the world to fall in love with their story. Um, and it's, I really want to make it a point to, you know, inspire people as well. You know, I want this story to be a platform to inspire young women. You know, mm -hmm. just because you're young, you have a baby, you know, don't ever give up. You know, don't give up on, on your dream. Don't, don't give up on, you know, what you strive for. Stay ambitious. Stay focused. You know, stay focused on yourself and your goals and, you know, and, and, and you can make it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we're going to take a s short break, and when we come back, we're going to talk to Nina a little bit more and find out about her uh, show. Probably get a little bloopers, things that happen in the background, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but this is the LEM show. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Araya. And I am Selena. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. And when I grow up, I want to be a nurse. Did you know that individuals who drive while sending or reading text messages are 23% more likely to be involved in a car crash more than other drivers? Also, a car crash is typical, happens within the average of three seconds after a driver is distracted. The United States Department of Transportation notes that cell phones are involved in 1.6 million auto crashes in a year. That causes half of a million injuries and takes 6,000 lives. On February 19, 2011, Ashley Jones Davis was killed in a horrific car accident. She was texting and driving when she left the center lane and drove head into a box truck. But she stopped short, writing in her final message, I can't discuss this right now. Facebooking and driving is not safe. Because of this, a new law was made. We have families that will miss us. We also have futures. There is no text that cannot wait until later. So let's take this pledge and say no to texting and driving. Together we can spread the word and, and save a life, life. Don't text and drive. Hello and welcome back. And again, guys, if you were just listening to that song, that's Por Amor with Javier Lewis. And uh, he just has a Spanish show now on the network. So shout out to him on Wednesday, 6 p.m. The Latino Guidos, the Latin people are making noise. That's basically what it means. Um, him and Alex uh, Polanco is on there. So check them out at 6 p.m. every Wednesday. But again, I'm here with Nina. Uh, we were talking about her uh, movie, well, her series that's going to be picked up by next split. No, I'm just yeah. I'm, That's wishful thinking. Wishful that's thinking. manifesting. <laughs> hey, wishful thinking. Manifesting. Yeah, man. Well, we got a, a couple of minutes <laughs> left. Um, can you let them know? Uh, where they can find you, what about a little bit about the uh, movie, sure. if there's any websites, all that stuff. Sure. Uh, so you can find me on Instagram. This is Nina B on Instagram. Um, you can also find CEP Productions LLC on Instagram and The Lover's Life, L-Y-F-E on Instagram. Uh, on Twitter, it's Lover's Life. And on Facebook, it's the Lover's Life, L-Y-F-E, again. And there's also a website for The Lover's Life. It's www.theloverslife.com. You can also catch the trailer on Vimeo or on YouTube as well. Uh, if you go on YouTube and you just do a search for The Lover's Life, you should be able to easily find it. And if you Google The Lover's Life or my name, Nina Brooks, you'll find a plethora of information uh, yeah. on, on, on it as well. Yeah, make sure you go uh, Nina Brooks. There's a lot of photography and there's other stuff, but look for the original Nina Brooks with the S at the end. Um, go to uh, loverslife.com. I, I, I think because if you put lover's life and then you're going to get all this other <laughs> lover stuff, you don't want those lover life things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, go to loverslife.com, right? Yes. And yeah. also uh, the lover's life is also on IMDb. Which oh, okay. Is yeah. National Movie Database. Um, right, right. You can also uh, do a search on the lover's life there right. as well. And it's the lover life, right? The okay. lover's life. Make sure you put that duh. Yeah, no, put because the article T H E. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes you say duh and it just means because you know it's a sentence, so you have to right. put the duh. Right. But um, yeah, the lover's life dot com. Mm -hmm. Um, check that out. And then when you guys watch the trailer, let her know what you think um about it and stuff like that. Uh, I always say thumbs up, thumbs down. What you like about Please, it, you know. We welcome comments. We want your mm. feedback. You know, we're excited about it. We're excited about the public. The public. And the people are what make you, you know, they, they make or break you, your, 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 uh, your films, your creatives, 
you know, whatever you come up with out there yeah. for the public. They are the people that are supporting you, rooting you, cheering you on, and carrying you. Mm -hmm. So we welcome their comments and the feedback. Yeah, and, and all your haters that want to say something <laughs> dumb about something that don't make no sense, by all means, still do it. Yeah, um, yeah I, I say the same thing. Yeah. Because some of the, the, the comments I'll be reading, I'm like, um, that's not even what we're talking yeah. about, but okay. Yeah. Well, we love you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We but, still uh, love you. <laughs> I, I wish you all the best, Thank and as you. soon as you have a launch, let us know. Yes. Um, we would love to bring, if the cast members are in New York, we'd love to bring them here. Appreciate Sit that. down, you know, Definitely. talk to them. Definitely. Because we love to find out, like, the bloopers of things, of mm -hmm. uh, what happened. I'll, I'll tell stuff. you some things that were very serendipitous, though, um, that, you know, that kind of let us know spiritually that we were on the right path. Um, Cindy Fernandez Nixon and I were having our 30 minute conversation and as we were talking we were sharing um, some you know some cancer stories about people that we really cared about and toward the end of the conversation I asked her um, I said you know you really seem like you're a Capricorn I said when's your birthday and she uh, just happens to have the same birthday as my mother and that's wow. the role that she plays and, and she's playing your mother she's on she's playing there. my mother and they share the same birthday Wow. Right. So that, I, I think after that conversation, I went outside and sat in my car. I cried for about 10 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and if you're like me, a believer of uh, things that need to be done or happens for reasons, yeah. uh, that one would have been. Like, that was it. That yeah, was that it. That was like the nail in the cotton, cotton yep. coffin. It kind of sealed everything. You know, like, let us know she that belongs on that's the role that's yeah. the role she's gonna that's play role, right. thank you mom i mean <laughs> you know, yeah exactly. you know because yeah. it and then if she plays it very very well that's she probably going to be doing things that you don't even cindy fernandez nixon mm. is an amazing actress just mm. to watch her work and to watch her get into character um was definitely something uh it's a sight to behold because right. that's something that you don't see behind behind the scenes you know, when you see actors on screen, um, you don't see what they go through to actually prepare for their roles and to watch her prepare for that role and to watch her easily fit it and, you know, and tell that story the way it needed to be told with the power and emotion that she told it was definitely um, something that I'm grateful for. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we ran out of time. Uh, we actually uh, went over the time half an hour today. Before we were a two-hour show, but we cut it down to an hour, but since Nina was here, Kathy was here, we went to the hour and a half, uh, which is good because we wanted to make sure we had enough time to speak to you about your show and all that. So I'm definitely characters, if they're here, bring them on. With, um, and shout out to MJ Hip Hop Connect yes. uh, for sending me all these uh, great uh, Thanks, guests. So, And if you guys are hip hop artists and you need someone to help you out, Check out MJ Hip Hop Connect. Um, they have a ton of crew that helps out. She, they do real good. Like half of, half, half our guests last month <laughs> were all from MJ. <laughs> you know, sooner or later I'm going to be open. And this is the MJ Hip Hop Connect <laughs> show. <laughs> because half of their, um, the guests are from them. Uh, so they do a heck of a job. Mm -hmm. Everyone they send is so uh, humble, blessing, and intelligent. So... You know, so if you are a hip hop artist, don't go to them all ghetto. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think they like that. I don't think they like that. You gotta go them professional, um, or if you got people say professionals. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you for thank coming. You. Thank uh, you for having me. I really appreciate it. You know, Larry, right? That's his name. Uh, your, your husband's name? Chris. Chris. Chris? Where get Larry from? I don't. Know. Oh, because we were talking about Javier. Javier. We were talking about <laughs> Javier and them. That's why. Um, but Chris. Next time, hopefully you come. Uh, we can get to meet you and um, talk to you too as well because I like to get a male's point of view of how he has to be behind the woman this time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love when a guy can sit back and say, I can push my wife to do this and Definitely. I can be in the background because male's egos don't really allow them to do it. Well, he, he leads. Trust yeah. me. He leads. Yeah, but he knows, you know, when to step back and I like sure. that, yeah. you know. Definitely. So. You guys keep up the good work. Thank you. Blessings and everything great you team. do. Thank you so much. So, I appreciate that. But hey, this is the LDM show. We're going to come back next week. Thank We're going to have some great topics. Make sure you keep watching the LDM show because I'm going to be putting it up. Just like today's topic was, are we failing our kids? So uh, next week, I'll 
debate another topic. But check out my podcast. Well, not check it out, but listen to my podcast where I really get into um, conversations like that. Um, that's where you see the devil advocate in me come out. So um, it's called Speak Out, and it's live on iTunes, iHeart, Spreaker, and uh, Chazza FM. So but we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.